Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to record a bounce check in QuickBooks 2019. My name is Matt Holquist. I'm with the QuickBooks University and uh, thanks for joining me here. All right, so you do the work, you send an invoice to a customer, they pay the bill, they send you a check, and then that check bounces. Okay, so how do you record that in QuickBooks? Well, luckily, they've made it much, much easier than it used to be. Okay, so I'm going to show you in this video how to record that bounce check and uh, invoice that customer for the fees that you get. All right, so let's do a couple things here first. All right, so we're going to assume we've already sent an invoice to a customer. Okay, now we just got the check in the mail, so we're going to go to receive payments. All right. And so this one here is going to be from Robert Allard. And we'll see that he's got an invoice outstanding here for 14510 So we're going to say, okay, 14510 We've got that money. It checks off that invoice. That's a great payment to get for a business. We're going to go to the bank. We're going to deposit that. Okay. So we hit save. I can hit save and close. Okay, so now we actually go and we make the deposit. Okay, so we'll see here we've got these deposits and I'll ignore these other ones. So let's say that we're going to deposit his check for 14510 Okay, it's going to the checking account and great. All right, so we hit save and close. And I'll show you here over in the check register. Uh, let's see, 1215, here it is right here. So you'll see that that money came out of undeposited funds, went into the checking account, and our balance is 95420 Everything is great. All right. Then all of a sudden we notice whether we're in online banking or we get something in the mail that says, hey, one of your customers' checks bounced. What do you do? Okay. Well, unfortunately, the bank's going to charge you a fee, and it's going to take the money out of your account, and hopefully you didn't go and pay bills that uh, use some of that money so that you may bounce checks now because that creates a real problem. All right. So what we want to do, if we go up to what you can do easily to record this is go to receive payments. All right. And you just go back to that payment. This is quick and quick and easy way to go to it. Okay. So we pull up that customer payment on the screen. All right. And there's a button up here that says record bounce check. All right. So we record that bounce check and it walks you through this. All right. So what did the bank charge you for this bounce check? All right. Let's say that the bank charged you $20 and then you put it to the expense account. Okay. In this case, we'll just call it a bank service charge. And if you class this, then you can also put this to a certain class. We'll say this is remodel. Okay. Since it's a remodel. All right, so how much do you want to charge your customer? Okay, so you can mark this up. You can charge the same amount. Um, I personally in my business will uh, charge the customer because, you know, you got to you gotta deal with, you know, re-invoicing and all sorts of things. It's kind of a pain, okay? So it's not a big fee, big markup, but uh, we mark it up. So we click Next, and then it tells you exactly what it's going to do here in QuickBooks. Okay, so the following invoices will be marked unpaid. Okay, so it's going to take that original invoice and now it's going to mark it as unpaid. So that way your accounts receivable reports are right. Um, it still shows as an amount due and, uh, you know, you can go and collect that money. Okay, these fees will be deducted from your bank account. Okay, well, checking the checking account is going to, they're going to take out 14510 because that bounced. So you don't have that money. And then it's also going to take out the service fee that was $20 that the bank charged you. Okay. And it's going to create an invoice for the $32 that you want to charge your customer. All right. Okay. So we hit finish and then it's going to record this. It's going to say, hey, this was a bounce check. And you'll see here where it records, it backs it back out. So it shows it's still outstanding. Uh, and then it records this invoice for $32. All right. So if we hit save and close. Let me go over to the check register and show you here. Okay, so now it, it takes out the 14510 right here. So your balance is, it was 95000 before. Now it's down to about 80, 81. And it also takes out the 32, or I mean, sorry, the 20 for the bank service charges. All right. 
So now your check register is good. And what it's going to do is uh, it's going to have an outstanding invoice for this customer. So if I go to, I'll say just, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go to the customer center. And let's see. Okay, I want to close that customer, customer center. Okay, Robert Allard. Okay, now it's going to show this amount, 14542 that is due. And that consists of the 14510 plus the $32. And you'll see here where the payment and then the journal entry and then uh, invoice created. And then there's that original invoice. Okay. So now when you go to customers uh, receive payments. Okay. And we go to Robert Allard. We're going to have the 14510 and the 32 outstanding. Okay. Now, once this happens, you're going to want to send uh, something to the customer that says, hey, this bounced. Here's a new invoice. OK, and what we will do is we'll alert the customer, say it bounced and uh, we will include a statement to the customer. So it shows the 32 plus the 14, 5, 10. And we'll just explain to them that, you know, we charge this fee because we got charged a fee and please kindly pay this. OK, and then if we have customers whose checks bounce, uh, we will typically uh, charge them in advance and tell them they need to prepay before we will do any work. OK. All right. So that's it. That's a pretty simple, easy way in QuickBooks 2019 to record those bounce checks. Uh, head on over to QuickBooks University. Would love to have you as a member. And a member is somebody who uh, purchases the tutorials. And once they do, they get access to a world of information where uh, not only you get the tutorials, but you get lifetime updates. It's a one-time fee. There's, there's no recurring fees, no annual fees um, at this point. And uh, also you get access to me to ask questions. Uh, we can, I can answer all of your personal QuickBooks questions from startup to advanced, uh, whatever the case may be. So head on over, qbuniversity.org.